Colliders are a component that allows the game object they're attached to to react to other colliders, provided that one of the game objects has a rigid body component attached. Colliders come in various shapes and types, and are denoted in the scene view by a green outline. They can have the following primitive shapes, a sphere, a capsule, and a box. For more complex shapes you have two options. You can either combine several of these primitive shapes together by applying primitive colliders to different objects in a hierarchy. For example, this workbench has a number of objects which simply serve to make up its different colliders for various areas. The other option is to use a mesh collider which will fit the exact shape of the mesh that you specify. The workbench on the right has no hierarchy but instead uses a mesh collider. The reason not to use a mesh collider is that it will fit the exact shape of the mesh that you give it. So if you're only giving it the mesh of your detailed model, then it may be providing too detailed a collision mesh and affecting performance. This is the reason why it's often better to make a compound setup instead. However, it should be noted that a third option for creating collision geometry is to use a separate, simpler set of geometry and still use a mesh collider. In this example, we have this complex robot arm asset. It's a very detailed mesh, but we don't want a mesh as complex as this for the collisions. So what we've done is to effectively build a secondary set of geometry, which we've then applied to a series of mesh colliders. For example, this part of the claw is more detailed than the collision mesh that we've created for it. And this has been done in two separate FBX files, the original artwork, and a simplified set of geometry. We've then gone through each one, applied a mesh collider, and dragged these meshes over as the collision meshes to use. This means that we get the kind of accuracy that we need in terms of collision without the performance overhead. When collisions occur in the game engine, one collider strikes another, and an event called on collision enter is called. In this scene, our prop samoflange object has a sphere collider and a rigid body. The rigid body provides mass and gravity. When I play the game, one falls down and strikes the other. The power cube has a box collider attached to it. Also attached to our falling object is this script. This script checks for three collision events, on collision enter, on collision stay, and on collision exit. When each of these occurs, it writes to the console using debug.log. It will register when enter is called, when stay is occurring, and when exit is called. So if we look at our console, you can see that enter is called, stay has occurred for a while, and then exit is called. If we pause the game and play, we can look at this example slowly. As I step through the frames, when the collision occurs, you can see that enter is called, so on collision enter has just occurred. As I continue, on collision stay is occurring. You can see on the right here that it's happening several times because these two colliders are still in contact. As we continue to step through, eventually on collision exit is called when the two colliders are no longer in contact. Note that for an on collision message to be sent, one of the two objects colliding must have a rigid body component. 